Hey YouTubers, it's Jordan Pierre, aka JP Dillon again. With uh, I just thought I'd show the, share this with you today. Uh, this is a, a JBL uh, J900 MV early 90s enclosure, and it really isn't up to the standards that JBL should be. Today we're going to talk about the importance of materials uh, when making cones on speakers. And if a cone is very well made, it will be lightweight but very rigid. Uh, the problem with a lot of cheap speakers is that the cone materials aren't rigid enough. And so what happens is, is under high stress, the cone loses its shape and it warps and it makes a horrible noise. And uh, this is an example of one of those speakers where that actually does happen right near the limit. So uh, I've got about a 42 cycle tone going into this and uh, you should be able to see, although I'm not sure if the frame rate will capture it, uh, that the cones literally crinkle up and break up and want to break apart. And probably if it weren't for this uh, uh, cheap uh, urethane coating on here, these would probably tear at the extreme uh, excursions. So I'm going to show you what happens here. You can see right now at moderate power it's normal. You start to hear a little bit of distortion there towards the limit. Look at that. See how the cone ripples out there? The top one too. Top and bottom. So that's an example of why you want a really high strength but lightweight cone. If it's lightweight, it's going to be very efficient and not take a lot of energy to move. If it's rigid and heavy, the speaker is going to be inefficient and it's not going to sound all that good. So if they had just, you know, made some, used uh, something like uh, carbon fiber or something like that, they, these would have been much better off, but they don't sound all that great anyways. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys today. Thanks for watching the video. More to come soon.